So, red pepper tomato soup. Yay. Um, what we put in the blender was red pepper tomato um, ginger, and then I'm putting garlic. I'm doing one clove of garlic, and I'm just going to cut it in half. Um, garlic and ginger is super kitchen medicine. Then I'm putting in my almonds, which, um, as you guys have noticed, I always have uh, germinated nuts in my fridge. Almonds or macadamia nuts or sesame seeds or sunflower seeds. So, you know, a lot of people, if they see the recipes, they're like, what do you mean i got to germinate my almonds for 12 to 24 hours? That takes a long time. But once you get in the system, like once you get in the habit of always having nuts soaked and then they're in the fridge upside down, they, I mean, nuts will last like this in the fridge for weeks. So I put a little bit of nuts into the soup. This is going to give me the, um, the protein and the fat and the hardiness of it all. Um, and like, I'm going to put a little bit of sunflower seeds in the soup too. Um, just because I have them here and they're wonderful. And then we'll put chili powder. Chili is always great to add because it helps the um, vascular properties um, in your cells to absorb the nutrients from the other um, from the other food. So that's really great. And then we're going to add a little bit of water. And then we're going to add a little bit of um, cold pressed olive oil. Remember, we always want to use cold pressed oils. Oils are injurious to our liver. We want, uh, you know, our, our culture right now, we have a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of toxins in our environment, in our culture. So our livers are getting worked, whether we're eating totally clean food or not, just because our environmental toxins. So we want to really um, help nurture our organs by not putting more contaminants inside. And cooked oil is certainly one of them, which is why I'm going to be showing you how to make your own salad dressings too. Because all the simply wonderful, you know, organic salad dressings that come in bottles have been cooked. Blend. We add a little oregano. I love oregano. There's so many amazing properties in oregano. Oil of oregano is um, one of the things that will just knock out any cold that you have. You start to get that little, like, I'm feeling blue and I, I cannot be sick right now kind of thing. Do oil of oregano. Hi, thanks for being that. here. Thank you for having me. Cute dress. Thank you. Try this, see if you like it. You know, usually I put it in a bowl and eat it, but I don't know, I was gonna have two taste testers today. It's good. It's good. It's and you know spicy. what? Is that a kick to it? Mm -hmm. Is that a little kick to it? Um, this is the kind of thing, like I'll put it in one of these um, cups that have lids. These are great from Crate and Barrel. They're like two bucks. They have lids or a tall one, and I'll bring it, you know, to wherever I am on the go. It's really great. Um, it's, a, it's a simple thing that you can take with you. I'm gonna be taking this to San Francisco with me. Um, as my nourishment. I hope you enjoy that. Here, honey, you can give